Links also support the creation of JSON files. With the JSON plugin, you can use the JSON writer function in order to pass any data into a JSON object. However, this isn't required. Links natively handles all data as a JSON object, meaning that we only need to pull data from a data source and then write that data to a file. For our example, we're going to pull data from a database. I'm going to do all of my configuration as normal and then simply generate a very simple select SQL statement. This will return a list of products for us. I'm going to set the return option as list of rows and then we simply need to write that list of rows directly into a file by using the text file write function in the file plugin. For the file path, I'm going to specify a JSON file for us to write to. As with most file paths and links, this can be completely dynamic or static depending on your requirement. For the content, we're simply going to select the list of files retrieved by our execute SQL function. And that's it, we're ready to test. We're going to create the JSON file into this folder. Now all I need to do is debug my solution and run my function. And there we go, our JSON file has been created. As previously stated, we could use the JSON writer function in order to write any data into a JSON object. This is specifically useful when you need to have a finer control over your property map. And that's how you can write data to a JSON file in Lynx. You could also write data to an XML file by using the XML plugin. The XML plugin has an XML writer function which will allow you to write any data into an XML format. That XML data can then be written into a text file, similar to what we did with a JSON object. To learn more, go to links.software.